What's up, Kelly Crew? Trying to get him back with another food haul. A food haul that, yeah, it's a lot of food today. <laughs> Anyways, if you'd like to see what I uh, ordered and what I bought from Walmart Drive App, let's go ahead and take an overview and then I'll get started. All right, we'll go ahead and get started with the paper towels. This is a mega roll paper towel, double roll. This is a good quality. If you haven't tried that brand, it's really good quality. And that's great value. If you follow me for a while, you know I love golden grams and I always get the golden grams in this size, family size. And uh, if you haven't tried golden grams, those are delicious too. It's good and gather potato chips. I got those from Target, from my last food haul from Target, which I didn't shoot. And those are white corn tortilla chips. Haven't tried that brand, but they look like they're gonna be delish. And so there you go. Good and gather. And here is some New York, Texas toast, garlic, butter croutons. Can't wait to try those with my salad. And this one is from Trader Joe's. These are the jerk style plantain chips. My daughter uh, says they taste really good. I can't wait to try them because I like anything with jerk seasoning. And I got these lightly salted Lay's potato chips. They are so good. You don't miss the extra salt. You don't miss not having the extra salt, excuse me. And uh, I've got some more of these mini pies. And I got peach and two of the lemon. I've been doing um, taste testing on those pies and I love them. I bought some of these uh, Chesapeake chocolate pecan cookies. These are really good. And the dark chocolate is now my favorite. I bought some of these Almond Kisses, love those. And I got the family pack, it's a little cheaper and you get a little, whole lot more for the price. And let's see, we'll go ahead and start on this end. I got one of these uh, French breads. It's only a dollar for this huge bread, it's baked fresh. And let me tell you, this is really good with some soft butter, really tasty. These are some kettle chips that I also got from Trader Joe's. These are the everything but the bagel, kettle baked potato chips. Uh, they're so-so, but anyways, I'm gonna do a taste test on those so you can see what they taste like. And uh, that's for another video. I got this medium pepperoni pizza, traditional crust. I've had these before and that's by market side. Those are really tasty, really good. You should give them a try. If you like snacky items, which I do, try these uh, uncured pepperoni and cheddar crackers. Now, they have a variety of these. Uh, in the regular, the uncured, I like the best. But if you want a, something for a quick snack, these are the best way to go. I love them. And I got three of those. Of course, I'm an almond milk gal. So I always get almond milk original, unsweetened. The sweetened one is just too sweet. And this one, the unsweetened is perfect. You know, I love my juice, but I've been cutting back. <laughs> I don't buy two and three like I used to. I just buy one on occasion, and this is that occasion. So this is the orange peach mango, love that. And of course I dilute it. You know, I always make my juice, water, maraschino cherries, and, and uh, sparkling water. So, you know, I always juice, uh, I dilute it. <laughs> so. And I like uh, Earth Balance Butter which is a vegan butter, which is actually not butter, but it is the best thing that you can get to the actual taste of what you used to call real butter, and it's better for you. So this is Earth Balance Organic Butter. If you haven't tried this, I suggest you give it a try. It's really tasty. And I bought some uh, egg roll wrappers, and this brand I got specifically with my daughter in mind. This was the vegan brand. Yeah, everything about this is vegan and uh, doesn't have anything that has an allergen in it. So you wanna try vegan egg rolls? This is the uh, egg roll wrappers. This is the one you wanna buy. And I also bought a Marie Callender's turkey pot pie. Love that. This is my favorite turkey. This is the one I grew up as a kid loving and Marie Callender's is like one of the top. I bought some tofu. I love tofu. I'm gonna fry this one up a little bit. and chop some of it up in my soups. So this one's organic, super firm tofu. And this one fries better because like I said, this one is firm and this one will cook up 
Ah, uh, most like meat if you if you want that meat kind of texture. Bought some of these pineapple chunks. I've been addicted to these. They are so good. And this whole pack uh, cost me three eighty eight. So I don't have to cut my pineapple. You just buy it like this, and it is really good too. And it comes in this neat little container. I love it. So I love that. Of course, me and my Roma tomatoes. Love these Romas, and these are really delicious. I bought two of those. I bought peaches. Did you know peaches were back? So I bought two to see what they taste like. So two peaches. And then I bought this apple. No, this is a, this one is a nectarine, excuse me. I bought, uh, did I buy two? Yeah, I did. I bought two of the uh, nectarines. So here you go, the nectarines. I don't know how they taste. Uh, it's a little early for fruit, but we shall see. I'll let you know what they taste like. I bought an, uh, one apple. This is an envy apple. I love the envy apples and uh, we'll see how this tastes. Uh, I haven't tried a small one, so we'll see. But the big ones are really sweet. And uh, not too sweet, but they're just right for me. But uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. And I'll start with the jam. I bought some Smucker strawberry jam. I, I love strawberry jam, it's one of my favorites. This and peach, so I got strawberry. And uh, I think that strawberry jam was only $2.88 for that. And I wanted to try this curry sauce. This is a Korma Patox, the brand. Korma curry simmer sauce. So I wanna try this coconut uh, curry sauce. I'm gonna try it with vegetables and maybe with some chicken, but I'm looking forward to that. I love Indian food. And if I don't have to buy all the spices and just buy that, there you go. And they have a lot more too, just so you know. And I bought this uh, gourmet uh, freeze-dried uh, basil. Basil, <laughs> so, love that. I, they didn't have fresh, so they offered me this as an option and I want to see what it's like. I think it'll be fine. So there you are, some dried basil. I bought a red onion. I love red onion with uh, anything Indian. So I bought a zucchini. I love zucchini. I'm going to grill this up. Here's a squash. Love squash. I love vegetables, if you don't know. And this is, I'm going to make some banana bread, some more banana bread. These are obviously not even ripe. It'll probably take about uh, three days for this to ripen. I'm going to put it on top of my refrigerator in a bag. Here is some of salad. This is a salad mix. Premium romaine salad. I eat a lot of salads lately. And here's some mixed vegetables. I love this one when I do one of those veggie bowls. This is what they, well, this is the closest thing that you can get to, uh, that they do at, uh, when you get, when you buy them. But when you make them at home, I like to buy this one. It tastes delicious. It cooks up perfect. And uh, there you have it. This is a great value brand, a really good brand. Try that. I suggest you try it. I bought a cantaloupe, a whole one. I don't like cutting them up, but I'll do it because the price is right. And uh, here are some green onions. This is the organic uh, marketplace brand. Delicious. And I love how they come uh, wrapped and sealed and cleaned. All you literally have to do is just rinse them and just go. Actually, you don't even, these are already clean, but I, I rinse them and then I uh, chop them up to, or, to whatever I'm cooking with. And I bought uh, a potato. I've been eating baked potatoes lately. I had one for uh, lunch today. But anyway, I just bought one. I should have bought more, but I have to go back to the store and get a few more things. But anyways, if, uh, if you're interested, this is all from uh, Walmart's walk-up. Uh, the walk-up service is free. Uh, they don't charge you anything. They bring everything to the car. All you have to do literally is wipe. I just wipe down some of the stuff, you know, just to be safe. I wipe everything down and there you go. And also too, I bought a 40 pack of water, but of course it fell and broke in my house. <laughs> but it's safe. It's uh, in my house, so it's no big deal. I'll live. And there you have it. There's the water on the floor. Broke. <laughs> but anyway, that pack of 40 water, um, that's the Great Value brand. That water, I want to say, was $3.29 for a pack of 40. And also, in this bag, if I can get the bag up, I bought what I thought was a head of cabbage, right? And on the picture, look at, look, look at how huge this is. This is ridiculous. I want to kind of let you see how ridiculous this is. 
So when you buy it online at Walmart, they show you this little tiny picture, right? But this is what you get. They really need to say that it weighs a thousand pounds. This thing weighs about probably three pounds in my hand. But anyway, you see how big this is. I mean, oops, sorry. Oops. <laughs> Check that out. Is that ridiculous? That is huge. So now I have to figure out uh, how I'm going to just chop this stuff up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make whatever I'm going to make with that today because it's too huge. But anyway, that is the end of my food haul. It's Sean again. And I will catch you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment below. Let me know what you think about this haul. Is there anything in here that you are interested in? If there is, let me know. And I will get back with you on my next video. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys again. And I'll be back tomorrow with a cooking video. Thanks again. Bye.